Ticketmaster could be facing an investigation after there were several problems with ticket sales for Taylor Swift's upcoming tour. Millions of fans weren't able to buy tickets as sales were canceled today. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson spoke with a Nebraska ticket broker on how they were affected and how you should find tickets for her shows. Yeah, it was definitely a challenge. We would get tickets in our cart and then we'd be checking out and then it would kick us out. Um, and then we'd have to start all over again. Taylor Swift announced her first tour in five years after the release of her new album. On Tuesday, pre-sale tickets were available for verified fans, and over two million were sold on Ticketmaster, which is a record for the most tickets sold in one day for an artist. But the amount of fans overwhelmed the website, causing long wait times and outages. Tickets were supposed to open to the public on Friday, but Ticketmaster announced they were canceling the sales on Thursday due to the issues. It's blaming alleged bot attacks for ultimately causing those technical issues. There is so much public outcry that Congress has raised questions about Ticketmaster's monopoly on the industry. Franksman says Red Zone Tickets was struggling too, and after the whole office was trying to get tickets, they only ended up getting two. It's, it's really disappointing, and it, it, you know, it, it almost just makes you wonder, should we have been trying to buy pink or, or other things instead of wasting time on this? He says this was the most difficult ticket sale he has ever experienced. Franksman thought the interest was so high because people weren't able to see their favorite artists for a while during COVID. He also says it could be because the tour, called the Eras Tour, was going to have music from her entire career, which appeals to more people who were fans of her earlier styles. Franksman did have some tips for people who are still wanting to get tickets to one of her 52 shows in 2023. He says to avoid buying tickets on Craigslist and only buy from a trusted source. But his main piece of advice was to wait a while before you spend hundreds. Be patient, wait, see if there's extra shows, you have plenty of time to get tickets, and the market will cool off, I would expect. Reporting in Lincoln, Mackenzie Johnson, Channel 8 News.